What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with Cerulege yet again, but this time, Life Orb Cerulege also paired up with Dragonite and one of my favorite evolutions, Sylveon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. We have Series 3 coming at the end of the month, so I cannot wait to bring you guys that content. Bring you guys the four uh, Legends of Ruin legendaries. So it's definitely going to be really cool to actually use them on the rank ladder. But with today's team, let's get started in the top left-hand corner. With today's team preview, we got Iron Bundle here. Iron Bundle, obviously top tier. This is probably like the most standard Iron Bundle, but it works so well. It has Quirk Drive, the Booster Energy, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind Protect. Like I said, pretty standard, but top tier in the meta at the moment. Great Tusk is going to be our second Pokemon. Really loving this Pokemon in the uh, in the Paradox forms, considering it's not like meta, but it's still very strong. It's definitely top tier. It has Protosynthesis, the Focus Sash as item, Headlong Rush, EQ for two ground moves, one fighting move with close combat, and then we got Protect for its fourth and final move. So Rule Edge is going to be our third Pokemon, one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemons, and I've been using it a ton on the Series 2 ladder, but this is my first time using it with Life Orb, so hopefully it hits really hard, hopefully we get some big time damage with it. It's got Flash Fire, the Life Orb like we already mentioned a couple times, then we got Bitter Blades, Sword Stance, Shadow Sneak, and Protect. Now I'm just imagining setting up a Sword Stance with this thing and ripping with Life Orb. That would be absolutely amazing, so hopefully we get to pull that off in today's video. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Sylveon. Sylveon is just one of those Pokemon that is just solid all around. Great HP stats, great defensive stats, great special attack stats. Love this Pokemon. It has Pixlate and a Throat Spray adds its item and ability. Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, Baby Doll Eyes, which we can lower physical attack stats on opposing Pokemon. And then we got Protect for our final move. So really liking that this uh, Sylveon has Baby Doll Eyes. Really good attack control there. Dragonite is going to be our fifth Pokemon. This Dragonite has been more so the Dragonite for Series 2. In Series 1, we've seen a lot of Dragonites with normal Terror types, but I've been seeing it a lot with Flying Terror type, just like this Dragonite right here. This one has Multi Scale, the Lumberry, E Speed, Ice Spinner, Terror Blast, and Tailwind. Final Pokemon for today's team is going to be lovely Amoongus. A little Pokeball Mushroom Pokemon, great for the support side of things. It's got Regenerator, the Citrus Berry, then Shrocket Palmpuff, Spore, Rage Powder, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Life Orb Cerule Edge team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty strong team. They're rocking the Iron Jugulus and Gotham Tell, then Golden Go, and then three very strong Paradox Pokemon. Great Tusk, Iron Bundle, Iron Hands. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I think Cerule Edge would be a solid lead, especially if they're going to lead Iron Hands. And I can definitely see Iron Hands being elite just so they can fake out and get some control. But I could also lead Sylveon. Sylveon's not too bad here. I could definitely go Sylveon. I definitely want to go Cerule Edge, right? I think the fake out is just a problem. I think the fake out is just a problem. I don't think they bring Gothitelle. I really don't think they bring Gothitelle. But then they could also lead the Deli Deli Bird. It's just a problem. I don't feel like dealing with Deli Deli Bird, right? Dragonite's not too bad for a nice little lead here. Um, is this Inner Focus? Or is it multi skill? I think it's multi skill. Yeah, it's multi skill. <laughs> And the focus would have been lovely. It definitely would have been lovely. But I still might lead Dragonite. I think Dragonite can get some work done. I think Dragonite could get some work done. But again, they're going to lead a Deli Deli Bird. I don't feel like dealing with the Deli Deli Bird. I really don't. So you know what? I'm going to go Sylveon here. I'm going to go Deli Deli Bird of my own. Would not be bad. Would not be bad. Match its Deli Bird energy. And then goes to Rule Edge. And then last but not least, either Dragonite or the Tusk. Tusk looks really good here, but I like Dragonite, so I'm going to go Dragonite. We're looking to have some fun in today's video. We're not looking to win as much as we do. We're probably still going to win as much as we do, but I'm looking to have a little bit of fun. Rather use Dragonite over Great Tusk. This Dragonite's just a cool Pokemon. I love Dragonite. I really do. Well, let's see who our opponent leads. I'm just kind of hoping not Iron Hands, but we already know it's going to be Iron Hands, right? Oh, no. Bundle and Golden Go. Wow. So Rule Edge could have been solid here. Could have definitely been solid. I'm a little scared of that. That little booger right there. That golden go. Bit of a problem. Tad bit of a problem. And we could Terrasize in water. It is an option here, but free try is just a problem. I'm still thinking of doing it. And then just ripping in to these guys. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that, and I might just Hydro Pump into this slot. Iron Bundle could protect this turn. But yeah, I'm going to Terrasize myself again. Gonna withdraw Iron Bundle. We are double down in, in the Golden Go, trying to get rid of this thing. It'll be big time. Gothel is gonna come out here next. So we Shadow Tagging me. 
and I wonder what we're going to see here. I'm just hoping to land this Hydro Pump. I really am. But they're going to Terrasalize first. It's going to be the Golden Go into what? What typing are you tearing? Straight Steel? Straight Steel. Totally fine. The Straight Steel is going to come out here for the Make It Rains. We already, we already know what's happening here. And I don't know if Bundle can eat up the shot. Bundle might not be able to eat up the shot. Bundle might not be able to eat up the shot. This could be a problem. I know Sylveon can, especially with the Water Terror type. Bundle might not be able to. Bundle might not be able to. I'm hoping it can. Hydro Pump lands. That's huge. That's big time for us. We get off some nice, lovely damage. Make it rain's gonna come out here. Bundy Bun. I need you to eat this up. I didn't think so. I didn't think he could eat that up. After that Terra, kind of scared me, but... Okay. That's fine. Okay. That is fine. Hyper Voice is now going to fly. Do minimal damage to both of them, but we get a third spray pop and we get a plus one on special attack. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. And now Golden Go is minus one. And what end do you have? You have the leftovers. The Goth Tell rocking out with the leftovers. We could go into my boy Dragon over here, but Sruledge. I like Sruledge here. Sruledge seems to seems to be pretty good. Yeah, we might as well rip with Sruledge. And Sruledge should be faster than Golden Go. You're not. You definitely are not. You are definitely not, and that is terrifying. I still have to go into him, right? I might protect him this turn. Do I protect him this turn? Because that thing could just rip into me with a Shadow Ball. That could be a problem. Unless Shadow Sneak and KO. I don't think Shadow Sneak KO. I'm just going to protect him this turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect, get off as much damage as I can with uh, Sylveon, and then have Shadow Sneak KO. Because he could just rip into me with the Shadow Ball. It could be an option. And he ends up just withdrawing. Okay. So he withdraws. And who does he go into? He ends up going into Iron Hands. And this isn't too bad for us. Because my Fairy move can do some nice damage on the Iron Hands here. So we're going to protect this Rule Edge. What does Goth tell him? It's the real question. I do not know. But Hyper Boys chunks up some damage on the Iron Hands. Big time damage. We get a crit. That's lovely. And a Trick Room comes out and about. Okay, so Trick Room's here. Uh, we could protect the Sylveon, which I think is going to be our play. Protect Sylveon. And then just start tackling into this, uh... This, what's it called? This Iron Hands. Because I think Iron Hands got to go for, like, a... Like an electric move. Thunder Punch, or what's the other move? Wild Charge. Got to be going into my Sylveon slot. So if we just protect it and we can get rid of this thing, that could be big time for us. But just sucks. They have Trick Room for pretty much the rest of the game, so not looking so well. We do have Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight's not bad, but I feel like that little booger Golden Ghost is going to be a problem. There's the Wild Charge in the Sylveon slot, so a lovely Protect on our end. And Bitter Blade should come through here and pick up the KO. You're going to charm me. You're going to charm me and drop my attack. I don't know if we can KO now. So we can Shadow Sneak if we don't. You're definitely getting Shadow Sneak. We're definitely getting ripped on with Shadow Sneak. And then I'm going to have to swap my Surreal Edge. I need him for later. Definitely need Surreal Edge for later. So, from here, Hyper Voice is our best bet. And now we just Shadow Sneak. Lovely little Shadow Sneak. I could also Shadow Sneak the Gotham Tell, but I think I need to swap the Surreal Edge. So Shadow Sneak comes out here, this should KO. I know we're minus on attack. Yeah, he's on like 3 HP. We get rid of him with the lovely Shadow Sneak. And I, I don't know what God tells cooking up here, right? What's this thing cooking up? A Psychic. There it goes. I, I was waiting for it to have an attacking move. Hits up onto my Sylveon. My Sylveon eats that rather well. Sylveon drops a Hyper Voice and it KOs. And it KOs. Okay. Uh, mm, I really want to swap. I really want to swap my Cerule Edge. I think I have to, right? Golden Go comes out here. I mean, if we land a Bitter Blade, we pretty much pick up the KO. And Bundle comes out here. So Bundle's really slow right now. Bundle is really slow. Hmm. Bundle is really slow. And how many turns is left in Trick Room? That's the real question. Two. I'm gonna Hyper Voice and I'm gonna Bitter Blade. We have speed. We have speed right now. We have speed all day. We have speed all day. The Trick Room really screwed him over there. Battle was canceled. There we go. Let's get it. We take that all day.
What a start for today's video. Played the Trick Room really slow. Ended up getting out Pokemon that were slower than them in the Trick Room. So we had speed advantage in the end there. And our opponent just ended up canceling battle. It was pretty much over. They didn't cancel battle. I was going to slap up on them. Win that game, no problem. So it's all good. It definitely is all good. But we're hopping into our second match. And we're going up against a weird off meta team. They got a Torkoal Leafeon Sun team with Farigaraf, Gengar, Lycanroc, and Stantler. Look at my boy Stantler. I cannot wait for a Weird Ear to come into the uh, competitive play when they release all the Hisuian Pokemon. But how am I going to lead this one? They have Torkoal. Torkoal is scary. Torkoal Leafeon, it's scary. I mean, Cerulege, not looking bad. I know that Leafeon learns a ground move, so that could be a problem. But I might go into Iron Bundle here. Get the Bundy out here, Legion. Bundle's not bad for lead. I can always Terrasalize. What's your Terra type? Straight. Oh, a little ghost action? I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. So we're going to go into the bundle, turn one. I'm also going to lead Cerulege or Dragonite. Dragonite's not bad. Cerulege isn't bad either. Great Tusk is not bad either. I definitely want Great Tusk in here, but I think I'm going to go Cerulege for lead. Go Great Tusk, and then last but not least, rock out with Dragonite. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. If they pop Trick Room, they pop Trick Room. It's no big deal. They might even try to pop Trick Room turn one, but we'll get after it. We shall get after. I might even, if they go for like a Trick Room turn one, I might set up a Sword Stance with Cerule Edge just so I can Shadow Sneak and start doing some crazy damage. But they're going to end up leading Stantler. I think, I know Gengar learned Trick Room. Stantler might also learn Trick Room. Intimidate with Stantler. Yo, what's that about? That ain't cool. Intimidate with Stantler. That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. So he's going to end up getting a uh, Cork Drive here. Uh, do I just Shadow Sneak? And... Freeze dry you? I feel like we can just KO you, right? Makes the most sense. Let's do it. Oh, of course you got the berry. Of course you got the berry. We're still gonna shadow sneak. How much damage are we doing? Not as much as I wanted it to do. Curse by now my shadow sneak is disabled. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. <laughs> I lose some HP due to life orb. I'm still minus one. Freeze strike comes out here. Maybe I should have hydro pumped. He's able to soak, so trick room could come out here. He's gonna kill itself. Curse will kill itself. He's going to curse my Cerule Edge. I'm going to swap my Cerule Edge anyway. It has Shadow Sneak disabled. It's minus one. I'm not dealing with it. And he's going to imprison. What are you imprisoning? What moves would you share with me? I am very confused to what you just imprisoned. We're scaring me, Stantler. You, sir, are scaring me. Stantler is scaring me. What moves did you just imprison? Very confused. I don't really know what Sandler does, so this is just a problem right now. <laughs> it's just a problem. He ends up bringing out the Torx. Route's out and about. I have Flash Fire, but I still want to swap through Ledge. I am just going to go for the Hydro Pump. Look for as much damage as I can and swap into... I really want to go into you. Protosynthesis? And then I can EQ freely? Or I can just go into Dragonite. I mean, Dragonite's not bad, but EQ freely sounds wonderful. I think at this point, we just let Cerule Edge die out. Because once I get out you, I really like what we're saying. I'm kind of with that. Then I could just Bitter Blade you down, too. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're just going to keep Cerule Edge in at this point. Torkoal ends up protecting. That's fine. Bitter Blade's going to give us a bunch of HP back. I know we're minus one on attack, but still. Get off some nice lovely damage. I'm cool with that. Really imprisoned. I'm confused with what he imprisoned. Unless this thing's a Trick Room user. And he Im hit imprisoned on accident. Let's see, we get back some HP. What is Stantler doing? Does Stantler have Trick Room? It does. Okay, I was so confused. I was waiting for something to happen. So Stantler ends up having Trick Room. A little bit of a problem. Um, Curse is going to hit me up a little bit. Wow. <laughs> That's ugly. That's ugly. We do have Flash Fire, which is good. I'm still going to try to rock a Hydro Pump in this slot. And I'm just going to go for another Bitter Blade. Just keep getting HP back. Stantler ends up protecting. Love a little Stantler protection. And he goes for an eruption. I have flash fire, which is lovely. So my fire moves are powered up now. And that still takes out my Bundy. Good old bundle. Gotta love him. Gotta love how how uh how badly defensive Iron Bundle is. So Iron Bundle gets tanked out on. Um We have Focus Ash. There's no way Stantler doubles down into us, right? I really just want to go into you and drop an EQ. I do have Terra Ground as well. I feel like I have to, right? I feel like I have to Terrasalize in the ground and just rip this. Just send it. We have the Focus Ash. We might as well use it. 
Stantler's probably gonna come into me with this attack. And I'm I'm just gonna go for the EQ. I'm going for the EQ all day. Harass size, EQ. I could protect him. But I feel like just Oh, Shadow Sneak's disabled. I could protect him then. Just to save for Shadow Sneak. I can't use protect. Okay, so he imprisoned protect. That's okay, that's rather smart then. Do I swap in Dragonite? I mean, we do have multi-skill and then E speed. I say we do that. We can save Swords for later. I'm looking to just drop this EQ. I'm hoping. There's no way you double down into my Don fan, right? Let me just get off this free EQ. I can't protect, which is I uh, honestly sucks. So Santler's got to go. Stantler has got to go. We are going to terrestrialize our lovely, lovely ancient form elephant man. And we're going to look to rip in this Torkoal. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of tricking Torkoal. Even though it's so good. So helping hand. We have Focus Ash. That's perfect. And we have Multi Skill. Everything's working out perfect. Eve Option comes out here. Thank you Focus Ash. And Multi Skill makes me soak that. So great play for us. This should pick up the double KO, right? I know it's KOing that, that, that little turtle, right? The little turtle's going for. The little turtle's a dead man. Stantler, I think, is a dead man also. Stantler survives on one. We do have E-Speed, which I'm just going to E-Speed it down. Okay, so now I can go into an E-Speed. I still can't protect, which uh, hurts my soul, because I would love to just protect this turn. And he's going to go into his final Pokemon, which is going to be Legumon. Okay, I do have Ice Spinner for that. But obviously, I want to go for the Headlong Rush. And how many turns are left in the, the ye old trick room? Two. All right, yeah, let's just E-Speed this thing down. Hopefully Stantler's not protecting. And we can just drop this thing. He might help a hand. Again, and then go for the rock side. That would be a smart play here. Stantler ends up protecting. What is Lycan Rock going for? Probably a rock side. It's gotta be a rock side. E speed gets blocked. And we'll see what he wants to do. He goes for a cell rock. And you take out okay. Go for an cell rock. That's fine. I am still a little scared here. Uh, I think I got a Shadow Sneak him, but if he goes for another Cell Rock, he can take out my my Cerule Edge. Wow, that's a good battle. It's a great battle. Scary battle, though. Uh, do I worry about the Stantler? I feel like I don't worry about the Stantler. I could protect you. Oh, we can't. We can't protect. I'm going to go for a Shadow Sneak, and I'm just going to Ice Spinner this thing down. Stantler ends up landing a double protect. Good thing we're going after this thing. You going for another Cell Rock? That's some solid damage. Can Ice Spinner KO? We lose some HP. And he ends up going for another Cell Rock. That does take me out. We have a chance to KO. And I do have E-Speed ready to go. I do have E-Speed ready to go. So if we can bring this thing low enough or even KO with Ice Spinner, that would be lovely. Ice Spinner flies out here. That one hurts. That one hurts. Uh... I don't think I'm worried about Stantler. I don't think I'm worried about Stantlers, even though I think Lycanroc protects here. No, he just goes for helping in. That's GG. Stantler, yeah, not doing much on the attacking side. And E-Speed's gonna KO. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Dragonite was the perfect Pokemon to bring in here. The perfect Pokemon. Him and Great Tusk really clutched it up for us. But I'm surprised he got two free Focus Ashes there. But now I just drop another E-Speed. Roll into this one, and that's going to be the match. Look at Stantler's face. <laughs> Yo, Stantler's face hilarious. They end up canceling the battle. We're 2-0. Let's go hop to a third look for a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a meta squad right here. They got Amoongus, Baxcalibur, Iron Hands, Golden Go, and then the Rain Squad with Pelipper and Palafin. So I've seen this team plenty of times on the ladder. Hopefully we get to slap it up this time and grab ourselves a perfect record. But who do I think they're going to lead? Iron Hand's definitely an option for the lead. Always an option for the lead. Golden Go, maybe. Pelipper, Palafin. Palafin could definitely be a lead. Might want to play up against this Palafin. I might go into Iron Bundle. Bundle could definitely get some work done here. If they go into Iron Hands. I might just want to lead Sylveon on that. So Sylveon, Iron Bundle, not a bad lead here. So I feel like we cover a lot of different things. Bundle's going to be super effective onto the Pelipper and the Palafin. And, and the Moogus. And then Sylveon's going to be super effective onto the Iron Hands and Max Calibur. We don't have a lead to cover Golden Go, so I am going to bring Great Tusk or Cerulege in the back end. I feel like Great Tusk is going to be a little bit better, but the, the water Pokemon, 
like could do me dirty, but I do like Great Tusk. So I'm gonna go Great Tusk, and then last but not least, gotta bring the boy, Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight did some work in last battle. Gotta give him another, another starting roll here. It's like when you drop 30 in a basketball game, you gotta start the next game, right? You gotta start the next game. So Dragon Knight just dropped 30, maybe even 45. So he's starting the next game. He is starting with us. But 2 0, grab ourselves that perfect record. I feel like our only problem with this team is going to be potentially Golden Go, right? As a lead, I should say. As a lead would be Golden Go. And there's Rain Squad. Okay, I can deal with Rain Squad. Palafin might just flip turn out of here. Definitely an option. And I feel like from here, we just freeze stride the Pelipper and we just hyper voice across the board. He could wide guard me too. He could definitely wide guard, but I don't know if we're going to see that come out here. Wide guard is definitely an option. But yeah, I'm just going to freeze stride the Pelipper because I do think Palafin might just hard swap. I could, oh yo, I have Terra Rain, which is pretty good. Terra Water. But I'm just gonna go for the Hyper Voice. I don't think our opponent's gonna pop the Wide Guard just yet. There's the Withdrawal into the Palp, and that's exactly why I tackled down this, uh, this Pelipper slot. And he's gonna go into Iron Hand, so no Wide Guard. No Wide Guard, that's beautiful. So now we get off that. We bring you down to Red. And there's Sylvie Focus Ash, and if Sylveon outspeeds, which I don't think it does. Oh, we get a Freeze! Hold up, it might outspeed now. Because <laughs> this thing might not even be able to move. It's frozen solid. Sylveon's gonna take out my boy Paloops. Miss you already, buddy. And we get off some nice damage onto that Iron Hands. Mwah. And on top of that, throat spray popping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, opponent. I don't know what you were trying to do. Maybe rip into me with a Hydro Pump. But uh, yeah, we got Lucky Freeze. We take those. We take those. <laughs> we take those all day. So now, he, now he's forced to fake out probably my Sylveon, right? He's gotta be forced to fake out my Sylveon. And those are Palafin. This just seems like a freeze dry hyper voice kind of thing. And I might even Terrasize in the water. Maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. He's going to end up Terrasizing. Palafin's going to Terrasize into what, though? What type you got Pally? Straight water. That's fine. I, I outspeed, freeze dry, can pick up some nice damage. Now, it really depends who he fakes out. He's either going to take big damage on his Palafin, which he doesn't, or now he just loses his Iron Hands. Jet Punch come in here. Are you going after Sylveon? That might have been a smart play. Yeah. Oh, yes, Sylveon. This is why, why I said in the beginning. Thing's so bulky. It has good HP. Loving it. Hyper Voice comes in there. Big time damage. See you later, Iron Hands. I'm going to baby doll eyes that a Palafin now. It always goes first, too. Actually, will Jet Punch come out before that? Good question. It's a really good question. But we definitely got to freeze dry that slot. We have Pokemon to finish off that thing in the back end, right? We have Dragonite. Hmm. Actually, Dragonite. We got Tusk, though. Tusk can just hit that thing with close combat. Yeah, I can start slowing him down. I mean, speed's really not a problem here. I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to baby doll eyes. I'm just going to baby doll eyes this thing, even though we're probably going to KO it. Out comes the Jet Punch. Jet Punch comes out beforehand, and who you go after? We're able to soak that. Yeah, that's game, set, match. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, yes, it is. Now it's game, set, match. <laughs> now it's game, set, match. I thought he was taking out my Deli Bird. So he has two first turn priority moves. Free Stride is going to be able to finish that off. And this was a quick third and final battle for you guys. Nice and easy. Gene's got you guys. I got you guys. Palfin drops out. We bring out the Great Tusk. Close combat. Put the punchies on him. No problem. We have Focus Ash too, so we know we know we're laying a shop. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. Go for the freeze try. Actually, smart play here would be Icy Wind in the close combat. I think our opponent cancels, right? It's not. He stays in here. So we Icy Wind, chip up some damage, take off Sash if it, if it was there, drop speed to make our boy out speed. Close combat, we know it's picking up the KO, no problem. And there it is, 3-0, perfect record. Absolutely killed it in, in today's video. What a set of three matches for today's video. Love this team so much, the Sylveon, probably the MB, MVP for today's video. That, the Iron Bundle or Dragonite, but I feel like Sylveon got a lot of value out of using uh, Hyper Voices and just getting that throat spray up and just ripping into it with that. But again, 3-0, perfect record for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.